culprit on our radar is Sharda Crop Cam. It's a weak performance from the company. Revenues are down 20% year on year. Their absolute EBITDA is down 64%. Operating margins have come in at just 6.5%, which compares with 14.6%, and that led the company reporting a loss of 27.6%. H1 itself has also been very weak for the company, with a bottom line loss of more than 100 crore rupees. But the company has said in the press release that they are seeing some improvement in trends Q3 onwards. R.V. Bubna, Chairman Managing Director, Sharda Kropkem, uh, are with us on the show now. Sir, thank you very much um, for joining in. Could you elaborate a bit on this Q3 improvement? What exactly are you seeing on the ground? Is it the prices? Is it the inventory situation? Adam, actually, our uh, volumes have uh, picked up. Okay. By how much, sir? The volumes are slightly better than uh, the same period last year. So the only okay. factor which is uh, affecting us is the international prices because mm. of excess availability. And we are hopeful that this excess availability will also get uh, neutralized with the mm. demand increase. Okay, uh, so, so just one um, you know, question. How much higher are the volumes so far in Q3? So we've done about one and a half month of Q3. How much higher would the volumes be? And so how would it compare on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis also, the run rate? Madam, volume is high by almost 20%. Um, this compared is year to on year. Last year. Yeah, year okay. on year. And okay. overall, is, overall for the first six months is 3% up. Okay. Can you tell us, sir, uh, what... When you talk about demand picking up, what exactly is demand like right now in terms of the markets and why do you anticipate there could be an increase? See, I am I'm going by the performance so far and we are seeing the trend that uh, we are receiving more inquiries and the demands are there. Okay. So what does this mean in terms of the financials because your margins were 6.5% in this quarter you made a loss of close to 30-odd crores. For the first half, you've incurred a loss of over 100-odd crores. So can you tell us, uh, what does this mean in terms of improvement of your margins as well as your bottom line? See, are you going to turn into the black in Q3? No, as I was explaining, we are hopeful that the price levels will go up. Margins are down because the price levels are very high. If I'm selling something at $50 and making 20% margin, that means about uh, $10. But if I'm selling something at $15 and 20% uh, margin is only $3 for me. So in but absolute correct, terms, the uh, margins will improve if the price levels improve. Correct. But you are anticipating some improvement, right, in the, in the situation? Yes, yes. So based on what you're anticipating, are you expected to probably break into the black on your, marg uh, in on your bottom line or probably see a margin improvement? Uh, I, I am seeing that. You, I'm, I'm agreeing with you that these things are likely to happen. Okay. Okay. Uh, sir, so far in Q3, in the first 45 days, have we seen some improvement in prices, international prices? Just or not yet? Madam, Q3 has not, uh, we are not past 45 days in Q3. It's already about 20 days that we are going That's through. That's true. Okay. Uh, so, any guidance for FI24? Uh, it's really <coughs> difficult at this stage, but uh, we hope some improvement will happen in Q3 and Q4 will be still better. Okay. All right, so we're going to leave it on that note and uh, we hope that you will see an improvement. As of now, it was a little bit of a disappointment uh, from the company, margin 6.5%. There was a loss of around 27 crores in the quarter. The stock is down around 3-odd percent. It's giving company to a lot of stocks which are under pressure this afternoon. The mid-cap index is down around 1.7%. This is the largest one-day fall I think we've seen in the broader markets in the past one month. So really, uh, maybe uh, there is the geopolitical tension which is now weighing on the markets in terms of a real factor to consider going forward. We need to wrap up on the show, but that's all the time that we have on Midcap Radar. Your stocks on the other side. Stay tuned.